right, here is a short video on Old Moon from Paula Dreyer's Little Gems. Old Moon is your first introduction to two note legato. And you can see that the stems in the right hand are pointing up, stems in the left hand are pointing down. We want two note legatos to sound louder on the first note and softer on the second. But before we do that, I'm gonna just show you some very basic steps to getting a really smooth legato. You're gonna take your arm like this and face it palm to the piano. Then face your palm to yourself. Palm to the piano, palm to yourself. Try that for a minute. Good, it's not hard. Just make sure it kind of feels like you might have a splint on or something. You're not tight, but you're not like floppy here, okay? Just, just make sure. Now, let's say if we did that over and over, okay? We just kind of went back and forth, like, and maybe even this way a little, okay? Just kind of feel the arm bone just rolling. So now we're going past the piano and up towards yourself, so a little bit. Yeah, just make it nice and easy. Rolling, rolling. Almost like you're turning a doorknob, but you're not, you know, okay? That feeling of turning the doorknob. I'm checking the back of the arm. You see how I have my hand here? Really making sure it feels oiled like the Tin Man and just really free. Okay, you give that a try. On your own, you can try that with your left hand too, okay? But you do have to try it with both hands. Um, I'm going to take finger three on the D above middle C, and I'm just going to feel the three and the two this way, okay? You can even see my hand tilting back and forth. You can really see that. Let's try that in the left hand. Let yourself tilt back and forth, keeping that arm completely free. And I know you can't see my arm, but it's literally doing this. Okay. Now let's do the four, three, two. So I'm going to do four of those. Two, three, four. Let me get my arm in there more so you can kind of see that. And then one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to go three. You track with four first. Good job. Now let's do three. One, two, three. Good. And I'm going to do left hand. Two, three. Great. Now we're going to do two. One, two. Good job. Now you'll notice, just really notice, it looks like my hand's kind of in a mitten. When I turn, I'm letting my finger tilt and I'm letting my thumb be with my hand. I'm not dropping my wrist, okay? Okay, good job. Now I'm gonna play you uh, the whole piece and then I'm gonna teach you part of it at a time. Okay, Old Moon. And the best part is it has pedal. high notes for a beats all right so let's just learn part of it um you are letting go between the hands but that's not a big deal you no know, no need to use your wrist to do that or anything you're going to just get that feeling of tilting a little this way to the right on your right hand and then to the left on the left hand try that good job now we're going to take it two measures at a time basically the whole song. You do that same thing on the second line, but it has a different ending. Ends on A. Okay, so I'm going to do the first line for you. I'll do the first line back to me. Here it goes. Your turn. Great. Second line. 
second line is the same, but we end on A. I'm moving to the third line, measure nine. Moving my right hand up to the G, two Gs above middle C. Moving my left hand to the D, two Ds above middle D. And it's the same thing. You try. Good job. And then I'm going to do the last one for you. You try. Now, although we didn't practice the second line with these legatos, you should just give yourself a chance to practice that. You can even do it on the piano lid, okay? Um, you know, you can just take the piano lid and just go back and forth. Okay, the fingers are not reaching. They're just dropping when the hand brings them there. Okay, I really recommend doing that to teach your arm how to play legato in a free manner and make sure that when you practice it, you're free all the way to the back of the elbow. See, great. Have, have a good time learning. Old moon.